Okay, with that great forecast, we're going to have to get ready for all those spring cuts and scrapes. I already have some myself. Melina Kudis joins us now from Dell Pharmacy. And on the table here, you've kind of got some really good things that everybody needs either in a first aid kit that you take with you or in your medicine cabinet at home, right? That's right. A lot of families have a good standard first aid kit, but it's always good to top it up with a few little items so mm -hmm. that uh, they're ready for those emergencies. Once okay, they come up. and it's always good to know where that kit is and have it. Yes. I mean, it's great to have one sealed here, but right. it, it's kind of in an emergency. It's like, okay, where did I leave this and, and have it open it to, so you know what's in there and know how to use it, right? Exactly. Okay. That's exactly right. So let's kind of start out with the basics then of what, what is in a good first aid kit. So a general first aid kit uh, has your typical bandages, mm -hmm. a little bit of gauze, uh, probably some tweezers, a little bit of antiseptic uh, uh, pads and some maybe some polyspore and things like that. Okay. So just kind of the generals if those cuts and scrapes happen. Okay. And then there's, like I said, other things that we can add to okay. it. Okay. What else can we add? So uh, for families, oftentimes uh, we'll have... Uh, aches and pains and things like that. So Tylenol okay. or uh, Advil is a good thing to add to it. Anything if you've got children that they shouldn't be taking? Yeah, with children, um, you have to be careful. You don't want to give them aspirin. Okay. Uh, there's also liquid formulation. So uh, with children, we dose according to their weight. So you're gonna want okay. to double check with your pharmacist as to the proper dose to give. Good idea, good idea. Mm -hmm. Then you've got some creams and stuff here, kind of um, antibacterial. That's right, so your polysporin, which is uh, to prevent any sort of infections. Uh, hydrocortisone, which helps take down redness, itchiness, and irritation. Mm -hmm. uh, so those are helpful to have around the house. Okay. Gravel's always helpful to have if gravel. you're traveling at all, right? Absolutely. So gravel uh, helps with the nausea. Mm -hmm. And again, there's a liquid formulation for the little guys so that you're dosing it appropriately. Okay, and I see over here we've got lots of sunscreen because that's right. some, especially today, like it's supposed to get so hot and so warm right. that, you know, it's very easy that you could get burned today. Absolutely. So sun protection is very important mm -hmm. and uh, it comes in a variety of forms. And uh, again, we have uh, preparations for kids and for adults, but the important thing is that you do apply it regularly and the kids get into the habit and parents as well right. so that you're protected. Okay. So you've got uh, allergy stuff here because of course right. we are right in the middle of spring allergy season, right? That's right. Uh, and not only that, but if you get stung by a bee or something like this, uh, the Benadryl pr type of products help to work quickly to settle down those types of Bring reactions. Right. Melina, we have run out of time, but always a good idea. If you're not quite sure what you need in a uh, in your first aid kit or at home, talk to your pharmacist, right? Absolutely. Come in and talk to your Dell Pharmacist and we'll go over everything with okay. you. Okay, thanks Melina so much. We're going to be back right after this break. Limousines for guests of Morning Live are provided by Mermaid Limo Service, including airport service to Buffalo.